First look at Imagine's new culling studio. Everything has been updated. It promises to be fast, efficient, but the thing that I am the most interested in is that you now get to preview your selected images from edited versions. So it's going to go through all of the images you upload to Cull, and it's going to apply either your custom Imagine profile that edits exactly like you, or you can choose a talent profile so it gives you a much better representation of what the final edited image is going to look like, rather than just looking at the JPEG preview that got kicked out at the back of your camera. And if you're interested, I got 1500 free edits for you here to get started with Imagine. If you're not yet editing with Imagine, which I recommend you do. Here we go. It's also a full standalone system for culling now, and you make selects within the Imagine app, which I'm going to show you. So let's see how the new Culling Studio app works, as well as how long it takes. I have a flight to Rome in about five hours for Way Up North, a conference that I'm speaking at, and also that Imagine is sponsoring. And if it takes me more than one hour to get this done, it is 1.39 p.m. right now, I'm going to miss my flight. There's no consequence. I could just go. Here we go. Creating a project, cull, beta. You have an option now, so you can just drag and drop a folder, just the folder that you have on your hard drive, and you can work from there. Or if you've already built a Lightroom Classic catalog with all the images, you can do that. So I'm going to select edited previews. I want to see what those images look like. And now you get to choose an AI profile. Um, you can either use yours or let's try Peachy by PBX for this one. I'm going to select all the images. And down here in your culling preferences, whether you want your keepers to be color labeled or you want stars, I'm going to do stars because that's usually how I rate my images. Uh, you can also do by flags as well. I mean, down here, you get to set your tolerances for what images it's going to group together. I'm going to use recommended, similar, Lightroom catalog, save, upload, currently 142, uploading 1,512 images that are taken from a wedding this year in California. All right, the upload is finishing up and you might be like, ah, I don't want to upload things to the cloud. One great thing is that the speed of culling is not going to be based on your specific computer. So if you're running an older computer, it would be a lot slower to process this on your actual computer itself, whereas it's processing everything on their servers. So it's going to be a lot faster. Plus, you can also use Imagine for offsite cloud backup storage as well. All right, let's see. It is in culling now. 158. Flight is leaving soon to way up north in Italy. I got to be on that flight because I got I got to talk to everyone about hybrid photo video coverage. I've just received an email that my calling has been completed. Hit spacebar, go full screen, hit G, go back to your grid. You can also hit F to go full screen like that. So as you can see where my mouse pointer is, it has selected this image as the one from the grouping. If you want to add more of them, you just go left and right. You don't have to touch the mouse and you can just hit A and you'll add that as a new select. Maybe add that one, 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 get crazy. Look at how fast that loads. This is me just tapping the button, this is me holding it down. It's not even loading the previews in the bottom, but it's still loading the full screen images. I would say specifically for family photos, this is kind of the nicest, uh, that it will verify if people are blinking and it will not include those. So now all of a sudden, your family photo editing time is not really existent. It's just all, all of them are selected for you. But if anyone blinks, like that one there, it's just not a select. Let's edit these photos and get some final versions. You have some options. You can straighten the images, which is one of my favorite features ever. Subject mask, also very good. When you click on these, you can adjust the intensity of them. Uh, smooth skin as well. I'm just going to leave it as basic right now. And I'm actually gonna go make it do some more final processing. And you're not really sending anything. It's already kind of done. You've already uploaded those images, so it's just gonna send it right to editing right now. And for 541 photos, which I would say my average gallery is 500 to 700 images, uh, it's probably gonna take, uh, it will take less than 10 minutes for sure, but probably somewhere around maybe five, six minutes. And I have received the email. I can now download my edits to review. And let's see what everything looks like. Final edits, I'm going to hit the three star button, so it gives me all of the selects. 541 photos, looking pretty darn nice. Now, this is where you come in. You gotta try it and see if it works for you. I would say the selects that it has automatically done for me without any refining. Overall, I'm very happy with the selections it's made. It definitely speeds up the family photography time where if somebody's blinking, somebody's eyes are closed, it's just not gonna show you that image. So you're only selecting from the top images that you should be delivering. And that's all for the first look. It is now 2.16 to 17 p.m. And I went from a Lightroom catalog all the way to final edited images selected and also edited I imagine if you're interested in trying this out, get in on those 1500 free edits by using the link in the description. And I'll see you again next time, probably from Italy where I'm headed right now. Goodbye.